A special thanks to Willing Aristosuchi for allowing me to film this car. Information is provided down below. Hello there. This is a full depth tour of you of the 2024 Willing Cloud EV shown exterior, powertrain, and interior. Here's the key the cloud uses from the bingo. The exterior color is now clean. This has flush door handles. This goes with keyless entry as standard. Black leather seats with white stitching on it. The vehicle's power is already on. To put the power on, press on the brake pedal and it comes on. Two spoke lower wrap multifunctional steering wheel. For transmission, the gear leaf is mounted on the steering wheel column. This comes with a single speed automatic. Then place the car in reverse. There is a 360 degree camera system along with rear parking sensors. Now let's take a look at exterior. I have to turn on the lights with the touch screen. And roll down the driver's side window. For the wheels, this has 18 inch ferry style, 5 foot alarm wheels back in. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. In May 2023, the Wuling Cloud EV was first unveiled as a version in China. The Cloud is a compact 5 door hatchback with MPV practicality. In fact, this was Bojian's first electric car with 5 doors. This car will also be sold as an MG. I cannot find information regarding its platform and the other cars it shares its basis with, so let's move on. The Cloud EV made its Indonesian debut last May, the complete Willings ABC trio of electric cars. It is available in a sole variant for now. Priced at 444 million Indo rupees before the 10% PPM reduction at Wuling Arista Suchi. For the design, the cloud has a smooth bodywork and rounded shapes inspired by clouds. This is why Wuling Indonesia chose to market this car as the cloud. I don't think the cloud looks boring for an electric car. It looks interesting with designs from both a hatchback and MPV. For the front, there are automatic split LED projector headlights with automatic high beams. The top part of the headlights are connected to a horizontal LED light strip and the placement of the Willing logo. For the side, the windows are giant sized, the flush door handles are unique in its class, the ferris shaped wheels and its tall height of 165cm for a hatchback car. Around the rear, there is the full length horizon skylight LED rear light bar and a separated reverse light mounted on the bumper. What is missing here is a rear wiper. One thing to point out is the font used for the Cloud EV badge. Wuling is the leader for electric cars in Indonesia with over 22,000 Wuling EVs sold and they represent 52% of the EV market share. They are the leader for EVs because they offer low cost ownership and the reliability of the battery without any fire incidents. If the bingo is not practical enough, stepping up to the cloud, it offers even more practicality without needing to go for an MPV. The cloud is all about the comfort with more than 80% usable cabin space, 18 storage spaces and both the front and rear seats 
can recline for the sofa mode. Is the cloud name suitable? Cloud may be an unusual name for a car, but I think it is suitable because there are cloud shapes used on exterior and the interior comfort on the move. The cloud has been successful with 2,097 units sold since last April, outselling the air and bingo cars every month. The next step Willing should take for the cloud is to introduce an affordable variant below this, with the same range but minus a few non-essential features, for example powered seats, powered tailgate and the use of smaller wheels below 18 inches. For powertrains, the cloud is powered by a sole option, I'll explain now. Powering the Cloud EV is a single electric motor located front. This produces 134 horsepower and 200 Nm of torque. The battery uses lithium ferrophosphate at a capacity of 50.6 kWh with an IP67 certification for water resistance. The charging time on a fast DC type from 30 to 80% takes around 30 minutes and has an electric range of 460 kilometers or 286 miles. This comes with a lifetime warranty for the core EV components and the cloud is a front wheel drive car. The front doors have hard plastic materials on the top and bottom. In the middle, there is soft touch materials. For electric window controls, all of them have the automatic feature, centre locking. A decent sized door pocket for the front doors. To the right is still a column. Cup holder story. Electronic parking brake. Bonnet release. The button here is to turn off the vehicle's power inside. Automatic transmission door pedals. The driver's seat has full pad adjustments. Recline, sliding, and seat height. Six way power adjustments. Below the center console is a storage area, huge storage area with two USB inputs for media and charging. The steering wheel has manual turn and telescope adjustment. Adjust it using a lever down here. On the steering wheel, the left start is the gear lever. The left spoke, the adaptive cruise control, these three is for the electric mirrors. The custom asterisk button here. White stall, automatic wipers and indicators. White spur audio controls, voice control, seat trap, volume and return. If you click this button down, this controls the MID. This has a full digital instrument cluster. On the right side, a digital speedometer. For infotainment, this comes with a 15.6 inch touchscreen for media and sound is provided by 6 speakers. Unfortunately, sat nav is not present. Before I show the touchscreen, at the bottom of the touchscreen, radio or audio controls, 
AC controls, volume settings, light settings, this is for the auto hold function for the electronic parking brake and for the power tailgate. First let's show the AC. This has single zone aircon in digital format with circulation, AC on off, different zones, temperature on the right, most scenario, fan speed above, front and rear defrost along with the heated side mirrors. On the right side of the touch screen, this brings up the 360 degree cameras, telephone menu, the vehicle functions here, settings, and back to home. Let's test out the sound quality. The sound quality sounds great. I had to turn off the audio before I get copyright. This is the radio menu. You can scan here, seat trap, play pause, manual tuning, love heart, the list of radio stations in the area, FM AM, the home page this menu brings up the 360 degree camera system vehicle controls menu window and door controls include mirror controls this has power folding side door mirrors Our tailgate rain sensor controls, light controls, ADAS safety controls, driver controls for drive modes, custom steering wheel button, power recovery mode, and others. Settings for the touchscreen. There are Bluetooth music and USB music options, AC menu, telephone menu, radio menu, video menu. This menu is for the status on the car's battery percentage, driving performance and others. I think that's it for the touchscreen. The touchscreen is responsive, but it would take a long time to get used to with the important functions hidden within the touchscreen. Three cup holders, wireless charging pad, the front arm is made out of soft materials. Open it up is a huge size storage area along with power outlet. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, has a light switch, and a front interior light, no grip handles for the front, to summarise the Willing Clouds EV's interior, the interior is full of technology, we have two screens and can be distracting, particularly the fact that the 
mirror controls, the light controls are within the touch screen. These seats are super comfortable. On the dashboard, there is hard plastic and soft touch materials with trim there. Now let's check out the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. These are size door pockets for the rear doors. I see which has the anchor points in the rear seats. The rear seats do fold down by pulling on this lever, which they can recline the seats. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got plenty of leg room. And for head room, I've got plenty of it. I believe tall people, six footers, will certainly be fine in the rear seats for rear seat space. Storage pockets on both sides. Rear AC vent, exposed storage area. There's no transmission floor. Rear center armrest with cup holders. Rear grip handles on both sides with individual reading lights which are LED powered. Now let's check out the boot. The boot in the Cloud EV is of a huge size. On the left is a boot light, LED boot light to illuminate the area. Under the boot floor, huge storage area. This boot floor is adjustable. The passenger seat has the same set of power adjustments as the driver's side. Recline, sliding, there's no power height adjustment, only four way for the passenger side. I think this comes with four airbags as standard. Glove box, which is of a huge size. All the storage for the front passenger side. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below. If you're interested in my content, hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell icon is turned on.